Welcome to the Band Girl. I'm your host, The Storm, webmaster and founder of CarolinaBands.org. On this episode of the Band Room, we'll be taking a look at footage from the A&T Missoula State game, have an announcement about CarolinaBands.org, and have a new segment on the show called Eye of the Storm, where I give you my perspective and viewpoints about various issues in the band world. But first, A&T Winston Clips. Again, fans, please get your tickets for the next home game and join us for Gospel Night featuring a special performance by fellow award-winning Donald Lawrence as the WSSU Rams take on the Florida a and on Thursday, September 10th, the day before my birthday. All tickets are $10 in advance for this game only. For tickets, call 750-3220.
Which one? The blue and gold marching machine of North Carolina A&T State University will go head to head against the Spartan Legion of Norfolk State University. Two of the best bands in the land will duke it out to see whose band really is the best. A&T, Norfolk State, Corbett Sports Center, be there. About two years ago, I wrote an article for carolinabands.org entitled, Are You Cargo? Which basically was my manifesto, as it were, against people who are just in band, not to improve upon the model that the band program is already going on, not to improve themselves, just to be there, just to be dead weight. And how I really don't like people that are just there just to be there. If you don't want to be in band, just leave. The band will be good without you. But what that does, what that can produce, if those type of people are in band, people that just go through the motions during performances, that can produce a very dangerous animal known as angry alumni. See, the common misconception about alumni are that we, I should say we because I am one, that we're just there to just talk about how you're not doing what we used to do back in the day. Now, some alumni do have delusions of grandeur where they feel like when they're in band, the band was the greatest and nothing will ever top that. But most, the vast majority of alumni just want to see their band program do better and better. Even if the band program's different and does different things, they all want the band to be better. Alumni don't mind changes in rules, changes in the style of play, as long as whatever's being changed is being changed for the betterment of the band program. When you're an alumnus, you reminisce about how when you were in band, you hard work, dedication, you gave it your all every time you went out there on the field. So it hurts you personally when you see members of your band program not giving it their all. Because you know you put in the blood, sweat, and tears when you were in band to build, help build the band to what it is now just for someone to come in and just disrespect what you did. To not appreciate what those that came before them did. For example, I came in A&T 2002. Now, I consider O2 A&T the greatest thing, just the greatest thing smoking. But if it wasn't for one A&T, if it wasn't for 2000 A&T, and most certainly wasn't for 99 A&T, O2 A&T wouldn't have existed. Because when I came in the band, there were a lot of old heads who knew the system and made sure that you appreciated your spot in the machine. Speaking of the machine, one of our main, the main term, the main word that you associate with Blue and Marsh Machine is loyalty. So I can't just talk about how the younger kids need to appreciate and be more open-minded when the alumni come around. I also need to talk about how the alumni have a responsibility towards their band program. I crossed into the Blue and Gold March Machine fall 2002. As far as I'm concerned, I'm a lifetime member of the machine. That means all, anything that happens with the machine, anything the machine needs, if it's in my power, I need to give it because that's my responsibility as a lifetime member of that band and the trumpet section. As alumni, we're very quick to judge because we're not there. So it's always easier to judge when you're not putting in the work Monday through Friday and then putting out the performance on Saturday. It's much easier to judge from afar and not know what's really going on. Me personally, if I hear anything, I go straight, I go straight to the people, to the source. That's just how I am, my personality. So don't just judge from afar. If you really think 
if you play trombone and your bone section is used to being in doing what you think you need to be doing in a respectful appropriate manner you can go to a band practice or a sectional and you know make maybe you can teach them something that they didn't know now as alumni we have you know a lot more freedom to say what we want to say but we also have to temper that with the fact that we have to know our role we're not in the band we're not the band director unless you're on staff you're not on staff so you have to put your trust in the people that are running the band program and also not just run off at the mouth because you see something that's not right or they're not doing what you used to do because if you always do what you've always done you always get what you've always got so every band program has to go through changes has to go through growth has to go through somewhat of a metamorphosis to keep up with the times and to adjust to the people that they're bringing into the band now that I've discussed the alumni responsibility it's up to the current band members and the current staff to make sure that the alumni feel like they're wanted. They don't have the right to know every little bit and piece that's going on within the band program. But you have to make them feel like they're welcomed. This is still their home. Whether you cro whether you crabbed in 02 or you first came in the band in 76. Or you just graduated. It has to be a very welcoming atmosphere and in that instance you can hold them accountable well yeah since you're here we need some instruments could you help out uh, we need help on this fundraiser can you help out we need help at this band event can you help out because if you give alumni responsibility and then you have responsible alumni beautiful things can happen so us alumni aren't all bad most of us are very good but what we don't like is people in our band program and it forever will be our band program they're just going out there going through the motions because we know what we did when we were in it and we like to see people show their appreciation even if they don't even know our name by you giving a hundred and ten percent every time you go out on the field you're showing everybody that came and did it before you that you appreciate everything they did to get the band program to this point general rule of thumb for field shows that I know I followed if after the field show you're at attention on the side of the field and you're not gasping for air almost about to pass out hoping that the drum major will hurry up and blow that whistle so you can run in line and get back in the stands you didn't do the show right so next week this week coming up and other weeks on into the end of the season give it y'all because the alumni are watching the carolinabands.org ultimate showdown jamboree official dvd will be coming this september so make sure you check out carolinabands.org daily for updates.